Okay, I had a request to uh, make a video about how I'm reproducing this console for a Chevelle. Um, these these uh, are made out of very thin plastic. I mean, these things are as weak as they can be, and from vibration, they get cracks in them. Uh, they start out from the rivets and from the bolt holes and whatnot. And I don't know if you can see very well this crack, but there's cracks all through this one on both sides of it. There's another one over here. Um, and of course from the factory they're stapled together. They don't look very, very clean. So I had a request to make a new one of these and the profiles uh, here are interesting to try to make and so I had a request for, to show how it was done. Um, I'll show you here. These are the pieces that I've made and um, like I said, a couple of buddies came in and said, man, you need to make a video of how you came up with those profiles. So, um, and, you, and you see that they do taper from one end to the other. Uh, <clears throat> that's very apparent on this one, where you know, your, your top edge up here gets, gets smaller. So, we're going to take you from beginning to end on bending up one of these pieces. Um, so the first thing is uh, the easy way, the cheating way to get your uh, get your bend points. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it from the, the long piece here uh, because the profile here to here is actually the same as the profile from here to here. It just happens quicker on the shorter piece. Uh, but, the, but the measurements around here or the measurements around here are exactly the same. I, uh, I discovered that from measuring it. So what I'm doing it's just putting tape on here, old blue painter's tape, and uh, putting that around there. Go ahead and cut them off the edge here, so I'm flush with where I my first mark there. And I'm just going to mark the major bends. Uh, it's real easy to do now. I'm right down in the bottom here. I take my take my sharpie and just run right down in that groove. Uh, I'm going to come right across the top of here. This is my this will be my second bend. Uh, it gets rolled around to here, but there is a major bend right at this point. So right here on the top of that bend, I'm going to make a mark, and then again it bends back out here in the bottom. So we're going to mark that point. We're going to do that on both ends so we get our, I guess what you'd call a major and minor um, point of your uh, profile there. So then, since I want to make this short piece, I got a short piece of metal here for us to work with. The easy thing, this is how you transfer your marks to your metal. So I'll go ahead and put the tape right on the edge. I don't know why I'm being so particular for just a demonstration piece. I've already made the parts I'm going to use. But so now then all I have to do is transfer those marks onto my metal. Hope I'm in the frame here so you can see what's going on. second mark. That's the same on both ends, so I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Alright, so there you are. So there's our, there's our marks from one end to the other. And uh, you can use those over and over because I had to make multiple parts, you know, lefts and rights. The big ones and the little ones. So should be able to see here just how much of a uh, angle that is. I'm going to go ahead and put the marks on there just so it's easier to see in the video. Really all you need is the either end, but I'm not going to worry about that. But 
Now also, I'm going to need marks on the back side because some of these bends go up, some go down. So, transfer this all to the other side. Let's just like these fine point sharpies, they're great for this stuff, and I find that if you twist them like they taught you back in drafting school, uh, you keep the points more fairly even. So there's my marks, these are the ones I'm going to need for the reverse bend, these are the ones I'm going to need at the very beginning, and um, so from here we'll take this over to the brake because we're going to do all these bends on the sheet metal brake. So I'm going to see if I can carry all this stuff and the camera, so hang on, because I don't know how to edit. If I knew how to start and stop and edit, we could make shorter videos. Uh, all right. So hopefully we're looking at where I'm going to be working. So making that reverse bend, uh, let me give you a... So this is the profile we're going to end up with. So making this reverse bend right here is a little tricky. My brake, if you notice, only has a half inch a, um, apron. I don't have the removable one to get down to quarter inch. So I have to cheat making this reverse bend. So we're going to show you how to do that first. First thing to do, put it in there, start the bend, probably about 30 degrees. Um, what you don't want to have happen is when you turn this over to start your reverse, you don't want it to try to kick itself out of the brake. So you just do a slight bend, turn it over, get it on the line, and you can see that we're up on top of here, up on top of the bending leaf. So when you squash it down, it comes back up pretty close to flat again so you just rock it over again bring this up about 30 degrees and again you turn it over and that way you're um, it's not trying to kick itself out of the brake now this is 063 material it's a 5053 or 5052 I guess um, and we're just going to work this back and forth until we get that bend to where we want it. Okay. All right, I think this gets us there. This is good for demonstration anyway. All right. So there we've got the beginnings of that profile. So I'll show you, you know, one step at a time here. We'll try to try to keep this straight. So there's the beginnings of that. Now the next thing that we need is we need this curvature, this, this curve that, that's in that profile. Um, what we're going to try to do is um, you want to keep your, your piece as close to flat as you can. When you're doing anything in the sheet metal brake, you want to do, you, generally you want to do your hems first. Uh, then after that, you move to uh, offset bends like this. Uh, if this piece had a, uh, like I say, a hem on an edge or something like that, that would be my first bend. Uh, and then I would move to something that was offset so that uh, you keep the piece fairly flat so you can get it in and out of the brake. If you put a lot of curves in it, a lot of times you can't get the piece back in the brake to work with it. So what I'm doing here it's called bumping, and I'm just bumping that curve in. I'm pulling this out, oh, less than an eighth of an inch every time I bump it. And you can see I'm starting to get, starting to get a little bit of a gentle curve in there. So we're going to continue that. Also, this is, since it's wider here, I'm moving it out in a fan shape. <clears throat> um, 
and I'm using those lines that I put on there as, as guides. I pull it out and look every now and then. Uh, so I'm pulling out what's the right hand side in your video. I'm pulling it out a little faster than I am the left side. Strangely enough, the uh, profile of this curve is actually about the same on both sides. If it wasn't, you could adjust. And again, I'm doing, uh, like I say, this is a, just a demonstration piece, so I'm not being as particular as I would be if I was making the piece to actually fit. So now, <clears throat> we've got that, we've got this profile now, <clears throat> so what we're looking at, of course we're, we're making a left hand version of this, but there's that radius that we have here, and uh, so the next thing we're going to need is this reverse bend, remember I'm saying we want to try to keep this as flat as possible. If I put this bend in next, we're going to have this thing doubled over, and then you couldn't get to this bend. Uh, I'll, I'll actually demonstrate that. You can't, you can't put this piece back in the brake far enough. I'm, I'm a good three-eighths of an inch away from this bend because this is hitting my bending leaf. So, so you got to think about what comes next. And in this case, what comes next is bending the reverse bend here. That is about, I'm going to have to look, check here, and that's, that's about there, and actually the true test, <clears throat> we're going to hold it up to our, to our piece that we're, that we're actually making, and actually it looks like I've got that bent a little too far, uh, yeah we could, we could knock that down a little bit. So, I'm going to show you that. That's what the little no bounce is for. Right back in there. Knock that back down, get our profile closer. <clears throat> now we're going to do this bend here to get that center piece. And you'll notice this has got a pretty good roll. It's not a really sharp break. So, what we're going to do here is cheat. I don't know camera set so that you can see the handles, but I'm not pulling the clamp all the way down. I'm actually, you, I'm just letting it rest and putting a little tension on there, <clears throat> and I'm reaching over and just holding the clamp so that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't let the brake bounce back open. If I pulled it down really hard, I'd be flattening this, this arch out here more than I am now. And you can see it's flattening a little bit, but uh, the arch, it's still got quite a bit of arch in there. And that's, you know, I was clamped down on this. There's two reasons for that. Like I say, we're cheating here. Um, when I finish this, I'm going to finish it with a hammer. And I'm going to do that because I want this not to be a very sharp edge. And I want to put this roll back in there. And then, metal has a memory, so uh, I'm going to put the bending leaf right back up here. So as I say, the, the metal has a memory. It's been bent once, and uh, so it's going to want to go back to that point again. Um, so you kind of were training it when you did that first. So now I'm going to finish this bend, and I'm paying attention to how I'm how I'm doing this. When I hit up here, I'm getting this arch back in here. And if I if I come down here lower and hit hit closer to this bend, then I make that bend more. So what I'm doing at this point is hitting it high and getting a bit of a the, the metals rolling. Okay, so I'm starting that. And the profile 
is looking pretty good. Uh, if I want to get that bend down here just a little sharper, I hit it a little lower. And let's just see how we're looking. So now we're getting our profile pretty close. It needs to come down a little bit more um, on both ends. So we're going to put it back in there. up to our original plastic piece you can see we're making that that same profile that goes there so so that's how we accomplish that making all the pieces just a couple little tricks to do on the sheet metal brake thanks for watching